Hi everyone, it's Bright Pink Star. In this video, I'm going to cover off um, a war that Phoenix Ashes had recently um, with another clan called Desert Kings. As you can see, uh, we're a level 2 clan in Phoenix Ashes and we've currently got 17 wars won. Um, Desert Kings are also a level 2, um, but they've got 27 wars won. And they're also from Egypt. Okay, when we first got this match, um, we were a bit disappointed because our top three players are Town Hall 10, uh, but their top five were Town Hall 10. This is the lowest one, so obviously that's got a lot of Town Hall 9 um, defences, and they have got um, a Premi Town Hall 10 sort of lower down um, in the rankings amongst the Town Hall 9s. Um, somewhere, if I can just fi find him. Oh, there he, there he is. Um, in ours, um, our lowest player is um, Russell. If we just have a look at Russell's base, you can see that he's actually a Town Hall 6. Um, so he's got quite a small base um, at the moment. The next player up is Helly. She's a Town Hall 7. Um, then if we go back up to the next one, uh, we've got Cool Gun and he's a Town Hall 8. So we've got a Town Hall 7 and a Town Hall 6. Um, when I had a look at their bases, the bottom player's Hulks. And he's actually a Town Hall 8. So we're kind of disappointed with the matchup to start off with because basically our Town Hall 6 and Town Hall 7 are going to have to attack their Town Hall 8s, um, which were a bit disappointing, really. And also, they do seem to have more Town Hall 10s than us. So the first raid I'm going to show you is um, by Heli. So you remember she's um, our Town Hall 7. So she started off by lowering the clan castle with a barbarian. Um, and a dragon's actually come out. So she's just lowering that down to the builder's hut at the bottom. Um, now she's dropped, I don't know if you can see for the counter, but she's dropped some archers around the dragon. Um, unfortunately, they did start to target the elixir pumps. But she's just trying to circle them around the dragon um, to avoid the splash damage and take it out. But unfortunately, there weren't really enough archers. Um, not quite sure why she's She's dropped that balloon, um, but she's now dropping her dragons um, over at the far right hand side. Um, and she's actually got a max dragon in the clan castle, and she's also dropped some balloons to target some of the defences. So she's just raging around that air defence now to take that down quickly. So you can see that's gone, the second one's gone, but there is um, one at the far side. Um, the max dragon has now targeted the town hall. Um, so it's just going for that one. Um, and the rest of the dragons are sort of starting to split up a little bit really on this raid. So the max dragon's still going but it does look like he's going to get taken down before he gets to the air defence. The rage um, has just killed, well the air defence has just killed him there but there is a little bit of rage left which is now gone. And you can see she's just dropping the lightning spell onto that final air defence just to... Um, damage it a bit so hopefully that the dragons get onto it and actually um take that out so there's some barbs coming in um at the left hand side to try and help take those buildings out and the dragon just took that cannon down and unfortunately turned to the right instead of turning onto that air defense um which was a bit of a shame really now usually um heli takes two rage and a lightning um, with dragons that way if archers or wizards or witches come out of the clan castle you have got um you are able to zap them but unfortunately on this raid it was a dragon in the clan castle so the lightning really wasn't much good it had been a bit better to take three rage but it was the first time that this um base had been attacked so we didn't know what were in the clan castle you can see the final dragon or dragons are just going to go down there. And you can see at the bottom there's just a barbarian whacking a wall. Um, so it's just quite happy out of the out of the way of any um, defences. Just hitting that wall. And the final dragon's gone down. The barbarian's still trying to break through that wall. So that was 86% um, um, from Heli. So it was still a pretty decent raid. She does usually get three stars. Um, but well done on that raid. Okay, the next raid we've got from this war is a raid by our number two, Weenasaw. He's um, a Town Hall 10, he's attacking their number five, um, which is a Town Hall um, 10, but with some very strange um, upgrade priorities. We've got three maxed Wiz Towers, 
Um, but we've got level one expos and no infernos, so I can't quite work out the upgrade priorities on this. Certainly won't be what I'd um, upgrade. So those wall breakers are just breaking through into the core now. Um, you can see a golem's actually come out of the um, defending clan castle, which is a bit of a strange um, troop to have in a clan castle to defend you. I guess the point being it's got high health points and to try and distract the troops, killing it rather than... Um, attacking the base i don't know they had a quite a few it's a bit unusual so he's just dropped a rage and a jump spell and there's the troops are jumping through to the core now so the queen's um just going so she's taking out the king and the queen um taking out the clan castle and then for some reason completely unknown to man they all decided to jump out of the core and run around the outside so at this point, you're just thinking this is going to be a, a one-star raid um, at this point because they're not going for the town hall. So you can see down at the left, there's um, a Max Gollum that Weenasaur had in his clan castle. Um, that's just sort of taking out some defences. And the rest of the troops are going around the sort of top of the base. Um, so they're just basically going for um, a walk completely around the base. Um, I'm completely astounded at why they jumped out of the car in the first place. She was just right next to the town hall. Just shoot the town hall. No, I'll go for a walk. Um, typical woman, I'll go for a wander instead. I can say that because I'm a woman anyway. So you can see that they're just making their way around the sort of top of the base now and taking out some of that defence. Um, you can see we're probably about... Coming up to about 75% of the base um, demolished. So the Queen has finally decided to take out that expo, which luckily is focused on the P.E.K.K.A. So the Queen's get completely unharmed. Uh, she's taken out the air defence in the core. The other troops are still going round the outside. And taking out that wall with a wizard. And finally, she realises the town hall, that she should actually have been attacking the town hall in the first place. So she's finally taken that down. Uh, you can see Dan's just using a lightning spell to take out um, some of those buildings. Um, he's finally taken some of those out. So there's just a few peckers that are still going. And the Queen's finally taken the Town Hall. Um, now instead of just sort of wandering to one side or anything, she's decided to start hitting that wall because she's trying to get to that witch um, queen plinth there. I don't know why I said witch. Um, so she's just going through the wall. Eventually she'll get through, so she's just about to take that down. So eventually it was a 100% um, three-star raid, even with the troops going all the way around the outside. So really pleased, because that could have just ended up as one as one star after they all ran out of the car. So well done to Enosaur for that raid. Okay, the last raid I'm going to show you from this war is um, one from the enemy team. Um, and this is actually their number 15 attacking our number one, Bob. Um, number 15 is Town Hall 8, and you can see um, that Bob here is actually an almost maxed um, Town Hall 10. He's just got a few cannons and a few levels on his heroes. So he's starting off by um, lightning spell on the air defence down there, just to sort of take that out. And you can see he's using minions at the top. So this is quite a good um, strategy, because he's just taking out those um, buildings with the minions there and you can see that currently they're out of range of the arch towers. Um, his minions are actually level 3 um, so they're not particularly powerful but they're just doing the job there just picking those buildings off. So you can see they're starting to get within range of the arch tower now and start to get picked off but they're also picking off those builders huts as well. Builders huts are great if you're just trying to get that 50% um, because they do have low health points so they are quite easy to take out. You can usually take them out with one lightning spell. So now um, he's deploying dragons in a similar way really to how he deployed the minions but he's deploying the um, dragons um, around the bottom of the base. Um, the dragons have got quite good um, hit points and you can see that they are getting starting to get taken out by some of the arch towers that are there. So that's why he's used dragons at the bottom and used the minions at the top. So we're up to 38%. Um, the dragons just got distracted by some the queen there. So you can see we're up to 44. He's just dropped his clan castle, which I think had um, a pecker in the clan castle. You can see there it's a max pecker just right down at the bottom. So he's up to 49%. And you can see there he's just got to the um, 50%. And the skeleton traps that are on air have just come out. So he's at 54%. 
And the last dragon is just about to go down. Um, the peck is not far from dead as well. That's just going to die about now-ish. Die. No, it don't want to die. Ah, finally it's died. So you can see the clan castle's also been activated at this point and the skeleton traps are going up to the top. Um, so if we go and have a look at the top of the base and see what's going on up there, you can see he's actually dropped his king and presumably the last few of his minions. So that's activated the balloons to come out of the clan castle. Um, but the job's done, he's got 56%. Um, one star the top player for his clan, which means his fellow clan mates can then attack lower for the stars. So quite a, nice, quite a good strategy if you can pull it off. But if you're ever want to, wanting to try something like that, always check with um, a core leader or your clan leader before you start barching or getting one star off a top player. Or you may end up getting kicked. So you can see the final result here uh, was 46-47 to them. So we just lost by one star, but you can see a lot of the raids were in the last few minutes. Um, and some even at the last moment, the clan war was just about to end. Um, we did try and get the extra stars just to secure the win, um, as did they. Um, but unfortunately, we were just, just lost short um, by the one. So really, I don't think given the matchup, I think um, the clan performed quite well. We worked together as a team um, to try and get the win. And I think um, ultimately, we were just a little bit unlucky. Um, after the war, um, I did visit their clan. Um, and a few of their guys came over to visit us. And it was in really in good spirits just to congratulate them about... You you know that on the win and just say it had been a good war um and sometimes i find wars that go right down to the to the wire quite stressful but also those are the ones that you remember they're quite enjoyable um although i do quite like the odd one where none of the enemy attacks and you do definitely get your loot bonus and stuff but yeah it was a really good war so well done to desert kings um for winning that war um and good luck in your future wars and hopefully uh, phoenix ashes will win their next one as well